Solving logarithmic equations and checking for extraneous root is the exercise which we are doing at present, right? So here in this series we have about five questions, all different kinds. Some may have extraneous roots, some may not, right? The whole idea is that your answer should be in the domain since log x has a domain which is restricted. And when we have terms like square and things like that, then we may get some solutions which may not fall in the domain of the function and those are extraneous roots okay so let's check them out so we have this equation here log of x to the power of 4 minus log of 3 equals to log of 3x squared so let's bring them to one side and try to solve them so log of x to the power of 4 minus log of 3 minus log of 3x squared equals to zero correct so by combining these terms we can get log of x to the power of 4 divided by these are minus terms right divided by 3 and this is 3x square equals to zero correct so we have this function here and this is to the base 10 now 10 to the power of 0 is 1 and therefore we get x to the power of 4 over 3 times 3 is 9, 9x square equals to 1. So that is the equation we have. Now we can cross multiply and then solve this equation. So we have, let's do it here on the right side of the page. So we can do x to the power of 4 equals to 9x square, right? So we'll bring the terms together. I've seen some students cancelling out x squares, right? I'll show you that that will take away a couple of solutions from them, right? So let's bring it on the left side and we get x to the power of 4 minus 9 times x to the power of 2 equals to 0. Now x square is common, so x square and we get x square minus 9 equals to 0. Now this can be factored and we get x square x plus 3 times x minus 3 equals to 0. See, if you cancel x square, you will not get x equals to 0 as one of the solutions, correct? So now, we can write down the possible solutions. So the possible solutions are x is equal to 0, minus 3, or plus 3, right? Now we need to check whether these are relevant to our equation or not. If I put x equals to 0 here, then log of 0 is doesn't have meaning. There's a vertical asymptote. The domain of this function is x is greater than 0, correct? So let's write down so what see. So the domain is that, let's say domain of this function is that x belongs to real numbers so that x is greater than 0, correct? So these two answers are not valid answers, right? Now, well, sorry. These, this is not valid, this will give 0, since they are greater than 0, so the domain actually is that x is not equal to 0. I didn't see it properly, it is to the power of even power, correct? So even powers will make it positive. So minus 3 and plus 3 are relevant answer, the only extraneous root is x equals to 0, correct? Sorry for that. Now, so our solution is x is equals to plus and minus 3, right? And the extraneous root is is x equals to 0. So that is our solution for the given equation. Thank you.